Did you know that an average American checks his phone every 12 minutes? It is no secret that the interaction between technology and humans is becoming an everyday thing. It's said that by the year 2020, more than 80% of the job industry will be related to computer programming. My name is Jonathan Argumedo and I study computer science at the University of Texas at El Paso, and I'm currently taking a class on data structures. I believe that many people should learn how to program a computer because learning how to code can be a great skill that will help you increase your critical thinking, it will let you test your creativity, and it will also help you become a more organized person. If the skill is put into practice, then most likely you will be able to acquire a position that pays a lot of money. I decided to come to the computer science building to ask some people regarding their opinion and the importance of computer programming and if everybody should learn how to code. We're here in the computer science building here in the University of Texas at El Paso and I'm with Victoria. Victoria, have you ever taken a programming course? Uh, right now I'm taking computer programming. Do you think it's hard? I don't think it's difficult, just tedious. Tedious? Have you ever considered taking a position at a company for programming? I would for sure. You would? Mm -hmm. What's your current major? Math. Would you recommend someone else to learn how to program? Um, I would recommend it just because I know there is a lot of jobs with computer programming and high paying jobs, so I would recommend it. High paying jobs, yes. that's actually very true. Yes. Thank you very much, Victoria. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm here with? Kevin. Kevin, what age did you start programming? Uh, 19. Really? 19 years old? Uh, are you currently taking a computer science course? Yeah, computer, computer programming. Computer programming? Uh, do you think it's hard? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes? Okay. Have you ever considered taking a a job in computer programming? Yeah. As a coder? Yes. Um, what's your current major? Electrical engineering. Would you recommend someone else in electrical engineering to learn how to code? Definitely. Definitely? Yes. Thank you very much, Kevin. Bye. All right, guys, so we're here in the computer science building, and I'm about to interview... Just saw Hinojosa. Nice to meet you. Uh, quick nice question, have you. you ever programmed? Yes. Do you think it's difficult? Uh, if you try, it's not difficult, but you need to like put all your effort to all your effort coding. to it. Yes. Okay. A lot do of time. You, would you recommend it to someone else that's not probably learning computer science? Probably like an electrical engineer, a uh, business major. Yes, it's. I think it's something important in your life because uh, computer science is beginning to like expand more in yes. other other companies. So I think it's pretty good. You think it's where, pretty good. Have you heard about any uh, programming jobs positions? Yes, there's a lot. Yes. Like Microsoft. Right. Like I know a lot of people that are working for Microsoft right now. Yeah. And it's best. It's amazing. The benefits and everything. Programming is the best. Like you get a lot of money. You get a, yes, that's <laughs> definitely true. The, yes. the wages. And what age did you start programming? I was 18 years 18? old. 18? Yes. 18 years old. Okay. And uh, what's your current major? Criminal justice. Criminal justice. Okay. Yes. So you're not even a computer science yes, major. Okay. That's great. Yes. Nice to meet you. Michelle. Nice to meet Thank you too. Thank you. I just want to point out that many people are focused in finals and I didn't want to take any time away from them. I decided to do the interviews very short and a bit awkward <laughs> in a way. And I just want to say that Kevin and Victoria were actually working in a computer programming assignment and I decided to help them because they managed to help me with these interviews. So I want to thank them. And I also want to thank Giselle for giving a great interview. However, I did realize that they were confusing the terms of computer science and computer programming. Uh, computer science is theoretical in approach. It uses multidisciplinary scientific and mathematical applications to a form and its computation. Computer programming, on the other hand, is practical. It is a process of designing, writing, testing, debugging, and maintaining the source code of computer programs. The definition of that in English means computer science is the study of what computers can do. Programming is a practice of making computers do things. Lastly, I would like to say that programming is a great skill that teaches people how to become better problem solvers. It also challenges their creativity and it can become a very easy job. The job positions for programmers tend to be very beneficial because the salary for a programmer can range from $80,000 to $110,000 or even more, of course, experience is required. So if you want to start learning how to program and start preparing for the future, which is not far away, I recommend you to sign up for a free online programming school that will teach you how to code in any language you like. And who knows, maybe after some years of practice, you will be able to contribute to the world by providing a great new invention. At least, that is my goal. My name is Jonathan Argumelo, and I study computer science at the University of Texas at El Paso. And my research topic is why everybody should learn how to code. Hey.